Caught on camera, a tense exchange on January 25th inside a classroom at George Washington University. How am I creating a liability? Tell me. Because I have a service you dog need here? to submit He has paperwork. paperwork. He has. Third year business student Liza Malinsky and her service dog were kicked out of class. You are discriminating, plain and simple. American Disabilities Act of 1990. Do you want me to look it up for you? Malinsky posted the video to Instagram just days after GW police escorted her out of the classroom. It's a little triggering to watch for me over and over again. I kind of just posted it and didn't listen to it. And I was being exposed in front of my peers and humiliated. We caught up with her outside of campus. This is Charlie. He is my service dog and he's a three-year-old American pit bull. Malinsky sent Charlie to training soon after she adopted him at age one. He helps her cope with her extreme anxiety. Um, as soon as I was removed from the classroom and I started having an anxiety attack, he immediately started alerting to me. He laid across me um, and my feet. Um, and he was able to calm me down. If you submit. Remember when the professor said Malinsky needed paperwork? She was wrong. According to GW's policy on service animals, quote, a student is not required to submit an accommodation request to bring a service animal into a university building. When she started calling us a liability, she was mentioning that because he was a pit bull, that he was putting other students at risk. Malinsky says this is the second time the same professor kicked her out of class but this time, she apologized. Malinsky shared this email sent by the professor who says she is committed to learning from this experience. A GW spokesperson told WUSA 9, the university is committed to maintaining a non-discriminatory, harassment-free environment, that they're working with the professors, and, quote, will remain involved to ensure that GW students have an inclusive classroom experience. Malinsky says only actions, not apologies, can fix this. Liza hopes by sharing her story, she'll encourage others to advocate for their own rights. In Northwest, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.